All right, this is my um, fourth video of a live catenary uh, standard gauge layout. The first two videos on YouTube uh, were of a 4x4 circle, basically an experiment. This whole thing is really an experiment. Um, I use a four, I've got used the 4x4 and then there is a uh, 28 inch by 4 foot river basin and then there's a 4x6 um, board. And it's all run with the overhead catenary. I do have the third rail powered because I do have two steam engines. I have a Lionel steam engine and a Mike's train house steam engine. And I'm actually working on a um, American Flyer uh, box cab that will run off of the catenary. Um, I work in a wood shop so I created this arch bridge uh, one afternoon and I have also fooled around and made a crossing. I have a one for a straight section of track. I just don't know where it is in my shop at this moment. And I've also created a whole bunch of uh, wooden ties. The hardest part was waiting for those things to dry after staining them. Now all the um, posts uh, messenger arms all came out of a big box store or a hardware store. These are uh, shelf brackets, shelf supports and shelf brackets cut. And then I put a little notch in them to accept the, uh, this is all a third rail actually um, from old track and some newer track. I also had two Lionel bridges and I put them together with one wooden block and it's screwed together. I did this and I eliminated the ramps. I just want everything to be on the level. So let's fire this thing up. I do have, I've been running it with a, a uh, American Flyer transformer. So let's go. And it is all running on the uh, overhead. Uh, I do have a power feed going up to that post. And this wire does carry electricity around the entire layout. Uh, it's bolted to uh, each post. And I also have four track clips or clip-ons to give power uh, to all the outside rails. And there's a little bit of a close up of that bridge that I made. It's out of wood. I still have a little bit of painting to do. I have a Lionel uh, freight station that I got at a uh, local train show. It was pretty well wrecked. And I rebuilt it, rewired it. The only thing I did was I painted the post and the base. Now if you notice there's some posts, they are because I have a top on this, because this is in my shop, and it's an old barn, and there's thousands of bats in here, so I gotta cover it up. And this is just a temporary layout. Once it's all finished, I'll most likely take it down, box it up until it's time to build another one. But I've got a whole bunch of ideas. You can also see I started doing a little bit of uh, scenery. I've never really done that before. Backdrop. 
and it'll go along that whole back area and hopefully I'll have another video of that and There you have it. Um, well, as I can say, stay tuned. I have built some other homemade items. I have a station, two different stations that I've built. Um, I do have a tunnel that will be going on this, and some other other cool things that are all uh, homemade. The tunnel is an old Lionel though, but I do have some pretty cool homemade things that I'm going to try to be putting on YouTube here in the near future. Alright, thanks for watching.